Hello dear students. So in this video, we'd like to discuss about pheochromocytoma. So before getting into pheochromocytoma, let me tell you what and all the things I'll be covering, right? So I'll be not just covering the pathology or not just the biochemistry, not just the pharmacology. The entire pheochromocytoma as such required for all the types of the exam, which might include FMG, need PG, which might include you know, your university exam for everything, pheochromocytoma, whatever the required contents are there, I'll be covering in this video. Okay, so let's look at pheochromocytoma. Now, what is pheochromocytoma? Now, when we are speaking of pheochromocytoma, all of you will tell me what is the first thing? It is a tumor of adrenal medulla. So, adrenal medulla, what is coming from the adrenal medulla? There is a tumor, right? Very good. So, if tumor is coming from the adrenal medulla, now the most important thing, adrenal medulla is made out of which type of cell? Adrenal medulla, my dear students, it is made out of some of the important cells called as chromaffin cells. What is that? Chromaffin cells. So, what is this? Chromaffin cells. So, chromaffin cells composes what? Adrenal medulla. So, adrenal medulla's chromaffin cells, they are derived from what? So, they are derived from, my dear students, something called a neural crust cells. Neural crust cell. So, let me tell you other derivatives of neural crust cell. That includes your T cells. T cells are located where? Come on, tell me quickly. Yes, they are located in the thyroid gland, which are also called as parafollicular cells, which are responsible for the production of your calcitonin, right? So, apart from that, these neural crust cells will also produce something called melanocytes and one more thing your chromaffin cells basically which compose of your adrenal medulla so repeat with me what are the three things which are made from neural crust cell most important three things chromaffin cells melanocytes and your c cells so this is a very very potent mcq oriented all of the following except can be asked okay so now chromaffin cells which are responsible for what which are responsible normally in a physiological condition they will produce most importantly something called as catecholamines they'll produce something called as catecholamines they'll produce something called as catecholamines okay so catecholamines are produced from your which cells very good neural crust cells that is chromaffin cells okay so now when we are speaking of uh, tumor so the most importantly this is which type of tumor whenever we are looking at a tumor the most important question comes to us whether it is a benign or a malignant so most of the time it is a benign tumor it is which type of tumor it's a benign tumor which originates from where from the adrenal medulla benign tumor originates from the adrenal medulla and one most important thing it produces it produces catecholamines it produce what is that catecholamines it produces catecholamines so basically there is a increase amount of your most importantly your adrenal in that scheme okay all right so so far what we discussed pheochromocytoma is a tumor which usually originate from your what is that originate from your adrenal medulla so now my dear students i want to introduce you to something called as a rule of 10 something called as rule of 10 so what is this rule of 10 so rule of 10 it's a basic uh, technique to remember the important facts uh, about pheochromocytoma what is this uh, so 10 percent of the condition is malignant tumors 10% of the tumors are malignant in nature. Which tumors? Pheochromocytomas. Okay. Now, the next important, 10% are your extra adrenal. What is that? Extra adrenal. What do I mean by this? Extra adrenal means they are absolutely located outside of the adrenal gland. So, most important question comes to us. If they are extra adrenal tumors, dear students, what exactly, where exactly is one of the most important location? At the bifurcation of iota. At which condition? Bifurcation of bifurcation of iota. At the bifurcation of iota. At the bifurcation of iota. What is coming out? Come on, tell me. Bifurcation of iota. The most important thing which is coming out is your adrenal tumor that is pheochromocytoma. Only what? 10% of chance. Okay, don't go in Y1. Tell that 10% of <laughs> bifurcation will always have a tumor. It's not the thing. I'm telling 10% of the tumor. Which tumor? Pheochromocytomas are extra adrenal. And the next important thing, you can remember one more point, 10% of them are found in children. 10% of them are found in children. So these are few important basics which I want you to remember about pheochromocytomas.
So when we are speaking of pheochromocytoma, already as we understood pathogenesis. What is a pathogenesis? Pathogenesis, I want you to understand very clearly. In this pathogenesis, I am not just going to discuss about the tumor itself, but I would like to rather discuss about what happens for the, how it will lead to clinical features. Let's understand. Okay. Now look here, pathogenesis. The first important rule, there is a tumor, tumor of what is that? Adrenal medulla. So from the adrenal medulla, basically from which cells? Chromaffin cells. So a tumor of adrenal medulla, it will produce something called as episodic. What is that? Episodic, not always, not constant, episodic release of catecholamines, release of most important liver, adrenaline, most important liver, adrenaline. Okay, so episodic release of adrenaline. So if there is an episodic release of adrenaline, now all of you know adrenaline will stimulate which nervous system? It will stimulate a sympathetic nervous system, right? If sympathetic nervous system is stimulated, basically few of the receptors will get activated. Basically, it will activate one of the most important that is your alpha 1 receptor and also your beta 1 receptor, let's speak. Okay, alpha 1 receptor and beta 1 receptor. Okay, now why it is, why it is not activating beta 2 receptor immediately, put it in the comments. Okay, all right, let's continue. So that will activate the sympathetic nervous system. So because of which uh, the most important clinical feature arises. Okay, now we understood about this. Uh, so let's continue to the most important. If there is an increased amount of adrenaline, increase amount of adrenaline, what will happen automatically? There is an increased breakdown of adrenaline, right? increase breakdown of adrenaline so if there is an increased breakdown of adrenaline the students please understand this is a point of biochemistry increase breakdown of adrenaline most importantly by your one of the most important enzyme called as comt called as catechol o methyl transferase what is it called catechol o methyl transferase so automatically increased breakdown means there is a increase of byproducts of adrenaline what is that increase byproducts of what? Byproducts of breakdown. Increase byproducts of breakdown. Increase byproducts of breakdown. Right? So, if there is an increase byproducts of breakdown, now what will happen? Let's understand. So, what are the byproducts of breakdown? So, the first important byproduct is called as a metanephrines, my dear students. What are they called as? Metanephrines. What is it called as? Metanephrines. And the second byproducts is called as VMA, called as vanyl mandelic acid. So automatically during pheochromocytoma, metanephrines level will be raised. Okay. So now with this much being understood, let's go to the next important aspect. What is that? That next important aspect, the clinical features of pheochromocytoma. So, pheochromocytoma, you can remember, the pay, there is an excessive activation of sympathetic nervous system. So, automatically increase of blood pressure, right? So, apart from increase of blood pressure, there is an increase of heart rate. So, automatically patient will have palpitation and also, my dear students, the patient will have headache. What is that? Headache. Okay, apart from headache, the patient can also have excessive perspiration, excessive perspiration. What is that? Perspiration, excessive perspiration and also, so increase of heart rate is called as palpitation, increase of blood pressure, hypertension, increase of uh, headache and also perspiration and when they are found, a, for example, hypertension, automatically doctor would initiate, what is that? treatment for the hypertension when they initiate the treatment for hypertension it is resistant to the treatment the hypertension is resistant to the treatment it is resistant to the treatment what is that that is of course hypertension hypertension is resistant to the treatment so these are the few clinical features associated with your pheochromocyte so once we found out this, the next important thing, what we are supposed to do, diagnosis, okay. So diagnosis, so there I had read in one textbook, it says that diagnose the disease before the death, for it was written for pheochromocytoma, right. So anyways, let's go to the diagnosis. So initially, initial diagnosis, right. So initial diagnosis, my dear students, we can go for something called as a serum metanephrines, serum metanephrines. 
So serum metanephrines. Now you people will already know serum metanephrines will be elevated or reduced. Very good. There is an excessive breakdown of adrenaline, excessive amount of metanephrines. So there is an increase of serum metanephrines. When we find this, then we are going to go for the next in investigation that is called as a confirmatory investigation. What is that? Confirmatory. Okay. So, confirmatory. So, please understand for the confirmation what we are going to do. So, for the confirmation, my dear students, what we are going to do is 24 hour, yes, 24 hour urine metanephrines. Urine metanephrines. Now, you might have a question. So, why don't we use uh, the vanil mandelic acid. So basically the better investigation or better parameter which can be used is metanephrines my dear students. This is a fact to be remembered. All right. So there is an increase of 24 hour urine metanephrines. Okay. So if there is a 24 hour urine metanephrines definitely we are sure that it is a pheochromocytoma. When you know it is a pheochromocytoma the next thing comes. Sir, where is the tumor? You just now put us a bomb. What is that? You told us that 10% can be extraordinary. So then we are going to go for radiology. We are going to go for radiological investigation. Okay. So radiological investigation, my dear students, we can do two things. To find out the location of the tumor, we can go for MRI. We can go for MRI and also we can go for one more scan called as a MIBG scan. What is that? MIBG scan. Sir, what is MIBG scan? It is a type of scintigraphic technique which is used for diagnosing of pheochromocytoma. Okay. Alright. So, apart from this, the next important aspect, what is that? So, once we have found out this, the treatment, my dear students. So, treatment, the first and most important, the drug of choice. What is the best drug which we can use? So, drug of choice we can use is phenoxybenzamine. What is that? Phenoxybenzamine. Okay. Now, phenoxybenzamine, my dear students, what is this? It is a type of irreversible alpha blocker. Irreversible alpha blocker, which will decrease the tone of alpha receptor and reduce the blood pressure that will help our patient. But have we removed the tumor? Yes, we haven't removed the tumor. But phenoxybenzamine, though we block the alpha receptor, there can be tone of beta receptors as well. So now what we can do is that we can also add a beta blocker. Which, we, which drug we can add? Beta blocker. Usually preferred one is propranolol. What is that? Propranolol. Okay. Now that we use these drugs, the next important treatment, what we can go for is a surgical treatment. What we can go for is what is that? Surgical resection. Surgical resection. So followed by the surgical resection. So we are helping the patient to get out of the symptoms permanently. But before going to surgery, so anywhere, when you before you cut open the patient, automatically what is the thing you need to monitor? Blood pressure. Because if you cut open the patient and blood pressure is very high, that is going to be a problematic scenario because bleeding cannot be controlled. So that is why before you cut open a patient, blood pressure should be brought to the control. For that only we are going to use phenoxybenzamine. Okay. So phenoxybenzamine only why we are going to use. Please listen to me. Phenoxybenzamine is an irreversibly inhibitor of alpha receptor which works as a longer acting drug. So we can also use phentolamine but the better option is phenoxybenzamine. Now, the last important point, this is the caveat for you. So, what exactly is this? Uh, pheochroma associated condition. Sir, why you did not uh, discuss earlier? So, this is associated with which disease. So, this is possibly very important, uh, very important MCQ based thing. That's why I have put it for a last. So, this is going to be very, very, very important. So, all of you should remember, it is associated with men's syndrome. What is that? Men's syndrome. What is men? Multiple endocrine neoplasia. So, multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2A and men type 2B. What is that? Men type 2B. Men type 2B. And also it is associated one hippal lindus disease and also it is associated with neurofibromatosis. So, this is the story of your, what is that? Pheochromocytoma. Keep following for more. Thank you.